Talk 365's health care is provided by Body Renew. And welcome back to the show. And uh, I, that was great, Holly, talking about your nephew, Bo. How many games did you go to last year? Zero. I watched every single one, though. How many games did you You need to go down there. I know. It's fun. You used to live down there. It's true. You Everyone did. You, it has you, a shelf life. you got to go to school. Yeah, you, well, you went to it's the like U. The Mecca. You went to the U, but you would. UVU first. You drove for ballet to Provo. Yeah. But we're coming up and talking about heart health. And one of the amazing things, there was a study that was done showing that if. What do you think the number one killer in America is? Heart. Okay, just because you're right, let's continue. <laughs> but diseases that you're more scared of, your cancer, your smoking, all the bad things, yep. if they were eliminated, our life expectancy wouldn't shoot up that much. But if heart health, was improved and we had unlimited heart, we gained 10, 15 years, the most important muscle you have. And uh, you've got something interesting coming up. Dr. Rogers has taken this cause personally and those statistics because he has personally, a heart. because he has a heart and he's an amazing doctor. And heart health is his number one goal to reduce the amount of people who die from heart related diseases. He has incredible prevention, testing and treatments to help you keep you and your heart healthy so we can keep those statistics down and everyone we love live a little longer. So check this out. Talk 365's Talking Wellness segment is brought to you by Bob Body Renew with wellness team expert, Dr. Brian Rogers. Hey everybody, welcome to Talk 365's Talking Wellness. Today I have got Dr. Rogers, our wellness team expert, here in studio as promised. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Thanks for coming to our house. Well, thank you. Yeah. It's nice to be here. This is super fun. So I am really excited for this interview because we've been waiting for this one because it's a big one for you. This is your baby. It is. It is your heart center. Mm -hmm. We're talking cardiovascular disease and it is something that Dr. Rogers specializes in. Let's talk about why you find it so important. Well, I have a number of patients in my family practice office and I, tr I treat cardiovascular disease all the time, high blood pressure, prevention of stroke and heart, heart attacks. And I've had some patients who've listened to me and they've, they've done pretty well. I've had other patients that didn't follow what I said and they ended up having a heart attack or stroke mm -hmm. and their lives have changed dramatically for the worse. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're having to use walkers, they don't have the energy they used to have. And it's sad to see that when it could have been prevented. Heart disease has been the number one killer since 1910. That's over 100 years. Except for a couple years where the flu was the number one killer. Mm -hmm. And other diseases have been uh, treated better by our, our healthcare system. But heart disease, over a hundred years, has been the number one killer. Mm -hmm. You'd think that we'd do something about that. Yeah, so is it just that the specialists are not doing their job, or what's the deal? No, we've got excellent specialists. Mm -hmm. um, the cardiologists and the cardiovascular surgeons in the United States are top of the line, couldn't do it much better. They're doing great with what they're having to work with. Mm -hmm. Cardiovascular disease starts 20, 30, 40 years before someone has an event. Wow. And it's important to know about these things. If you catch that you're starting to have cardiovascular disease 30, 40 years in advance, you can make some minor deviations in your life to treat it. If you wait until a month before the heart attack or after the heart attack, it's much more difficult to treat. Usually the heart attack doesn't schedule it with you though and tell you, hey, I'm a month out. It kind of, it's a That's surprise true. attack for it the most part. It does surprise you. So how do you know if you're at risk for a heart attack or cardiovascular disease? Is there a way to pre-screen or? Well, there's lots of ways. Right now in typically what they say is if you have one of five risk factors, if you're a smoker, if you're overweight, if you have diabetes, if you're a male, if you exercise and some of those other things, and they look at that and they look at your cholesterol levels. And if your cholesterol levels are fine, then um, no problem. You don't have a risk of heart attacks. But the problem with that thinking is that um, there was a university study done on people who go to the emergency room. Mm -hmm. Did you know that 50% of the people who go to the emergency room for heart attack or stroke mm -hmm. have a normal cholesterol panel? Wow. And so cholesterol is not the best indicator. Mm -hmm. Uh, Stanford University recently did a study and they combined some of these traditional uh, cardiovascular risks mm -hmm. with other uh, unique proteins that are in our bloodstream. And they, with the co combination of these two things, they can tell someone what their five-year risk of having a heart attack is. Wow. In fact, that's done through Cleveland Heart Lab and with insurance it's a $30 test. Mm -hmm. It's simple. 
your blood panels that you do will let people know if they're at risk and once they know, what do you do? Okay, the blood panel that you had mm -hmm. is not the panel that says if they're at risk or not. It does indicate risk, but mm -hmm. if you want a quick lab test, I've got one that I can do that says you're at risk, this is your five year risk. Uh -huh. The panel you're talking about is someone who is at risk, I would do. Yeah. Um, a major contributor to heart attack risk is inflammation. Well, we look at special inflammatory markers in the artery to see how close to a heart attack you are and how to specifically treat you. Each of us have unique genetic factors that may or may not put us at risk. It may make it worse for us or decrease our risk. Mm -hmm. I check for some of those genetic factors to see what someone's individual problems are. Mm -hmm. We check nutrition, we check hormones, vitamin D levels. All these things have an impact on an individual's uh, heart attack risk. Mm -hmm. There are over 400 known factors that, cause, that are risk for heart attack. We wow. typically check for five. And all these other 400, pick any five of those other 400 and they can cause as much risk as the five that we look for. Mm -hmm. And maybe, you know, in Utah, a lot of people don't smoke or drink and a lot of them exercise, so they appear to be good. I've seen people that have appeared to be very healthy, yeah. but have had other genetic factors or nutritional mm -hmm. factors and they've had heart attack or stroke at yeah. an early age. Yeah. So once you know these genetic or unique factors, what can you do to prevent? Where do, how does that kick in? Well, in order to prevent, you want to treat their, their unique individual uh, disease process. Traditional medicine says we get your blood pressure down, we stop you from smoking, we control your diabetes, and we throw you in a statin drug to control your cholesterol. It's pretty much cookbook medicine. Everybody gets the same treatment plan. Mm -hmm. Well, with me, I look at what's wrong with each individual. Is there a genetic issue that we need to do a workaround to help you be healthy? Is there a nutrient that's low? Is there exercise and diet changes that need to be made? Mm -hmm. uh, are there other uh, supplements that can be used? We can also use those blood pressure and uh, statin drugs if needed, but we try mm -hmm. a whole bunch of other things first and we individualize our care. Which is what I love so much about your practice and going to Body Renew is that you know that you are being treated holistically. You are being looked at from all angles of ways to treat from the ground up for the most part with functional medicine, that's what it's all about, mm -hmm. right? And not Absolutely. always just a drug, which is my favorite thing. I'll never forget when I walked into your office and there was a big sign up during cold and flu season to take a supplement to prevent the cold and flu, which I love that. I love that you're a DO that is willing to look at all of it, how medicine plays in, where you can use herbs and diet, and where you can do natural things like how you're living your life, how you're sleeping. I know that's the one thing we always talk about is how much I'm sleeping all the Absolutely. time. Absolutely. Yes. Which is, I'm doing better. Incidentally, if you want to reduce your cardiovascular risk, you'll go to bed at 10 o'clock each night, sleep for eight hours, and that will reduce your cardiovascular risk. Okay. I will put that on the to-do list next to the whiteboard we're gonna get, right? Absolutely. <laughs> um, so let's talk a little bit about if they mention Talk 365, how do they get their blood work done? Well, if they come into our office, we'll have them do that uh, $30 panel to see if they're at risk for cardiovascular disease. That is $30 with their insurance. Mm -hmm. And then we will offer a free consultation to explain the results of that panel and where to go from there. If you contact our office at bodyrenew.com or call us at 801-677-0039. Perfect. I love it. I would recommend getting in there and get the big one too at the end of the day. That one was a really cool experience because you have this opportunity to sit down and he looks at your life from like the day you were born until now. And we talk about things like, oh no, your problems didn't start a couple years ago. They started when you were three. And what happened at 12? He can figure this out from the blood work that he does. And it's it's amazing to know that your doctor knows this much about you. It's it's the coolest thing and it's why I love you so much. I wish I could do it all, all with blood work, but that's with blood work, There's health history, and yes. other things. But I'd be happy to do all of that. Uh, well, I recommend you go in and ask for the Holly Full Package. You just should because it's amazing and you're amazing. And well, thank you. Talk through 65, we love you so much. Thank you for coming over to the studio and spending some time with us today to talk about cardiovascular disease. It's a big thing. We need to get in there. We need to know about it. And if you're worried that you're at risk, give Body Renew a call. Um, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back on Talk 365 right after this.